um, thank you very much for, for doing this. And, good and to and be with you. Good to see you again. How close were the United States and Iran to war? It seemed very close to me from where I was. Well, uh, I think President Trump was misled to believe uh, that the United States would get away with this, that this would augment U.S. Secu security. Uh, it worked the other way around. It uh, was the beginning of the end of the U.S. in the region, and we were very close to a war because the United States uh, initiated an act of aggression against Iran in a very, in, excuse the language, cowardly way. Uh, they couldn't confront Soleimani in the battlefield, so they hit him uh, during the dark of night uh, through a drone attack on, on, on a car carrying him to on a peace mission, uh, which is uh, beneath uh, any dignified way of dealing with this. And, and it came very close to war. Iran responded in a proportionate way against the base from which uh, the operations uh, against Soleimani were carried out. We wanted to show to the United States that they cannot bully Iran, that actions against Iran will have repercussions. I think the United States is suffering. The administration is suffering from misperceptions, misinformation about Iran. And I believe that can cause catastrophe. It is important for President Trump uh, to listen to advisors who have better knowledge of our region rather than novices who know nothing about our region. With all due respect, what happened with that plane? Why lie about shooting it down? It seems like it's the most obvious thing to prove. You can see missiles coming up from the ground, see a plane blowing up in midair. Why lie about it for well, I was informed about uh, the plane being shot down at noon on Friday, a few hours before it was announced. Before that, I was being told that it was a technical error. Uh, our military people, the military chain of command, uh, got to know about this probably between the morning of Wednesday when it was shot down, a few hours after it was shot down, to Wednesday evening. There are still a lot of unknowns. That's why we want more than anybody else to know what's in the black box, to know what actually happened. We, when we reach the definite conclusion, when they reach our military, I didn't know about it, but when they, the military reached... Was the, the military lying to you? Well, the military was conducting its own investigation. They didn't inform me. And I'm, I'm sorry that they didn't, but... The fact is they were conducting their own investigation to reach a conclusion that it was actually their missile which brought down that plane. But it only came after the U.S. intelligence, after Canadian intelligence, after there was loads and loads of video showing what had happened. Only then did, did the, the Iranian authorities come out and say yes. Well, you see, fact, this, was, was, this, was was a, this was a disastrous of, of, of real great magnitude. We lost some of our best minds. You think having the courage to come out and say we did it, is that easy? You think it's easy? So you have the black box. You're not willing to send it outside the country, but you can't read it. So it's just sitting there? Yes, it's just sitting there. It's available to all the parties to this, the United States, as the country that manufactured the but plane. But right now, as we're sitting here, nobody is working on it? No. Nobody's trying to No, no, no. We will this? not touch the black box without the presence of all interested parties. I think if I were one of the family members who lost my life on the plane, I'd be very distressed to hear that. Yeah, I am very distressed to Saying, hear that. yes, they have the black box, nobody's even bothering to open yeah, it. Yeah, because nobody, no, the black box is open. Nobody, nobody's trying to nobody pull is, out the information. Nobody is bothering to give us as the country which has the right to investigate this, we have, let me repeat it again, we have admitted that it was our missile that brought down that airplane. So every information that the family wants to know is there for them to know. But we need information. We need information, why did that happen? And they are refusing to provide us with that information. We have a right to that information. We have a legal right, we have a national right, 
and we have the personal rights of all the families. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.